Right, we've got something to look at today and it's going to be a mortar and this mortar came around because I knew that this was going to be arriving which is the prototype of the smooth operator 6 inch which Neil has kindly sent me along with some other bits and bobs oh, um, to go with my current 5 inch um, so because I knew I was getting the 6 inch I started to think about components that I was going to use um, and at the same time Bang had asked me if I wanted to review anything um, and I wanted some malters um, and for quite a long time I've quite fancied trying RCN power malters but I never have done because like everybody else I use T-Malter and Brother Hobby um, and I've never really sort of found the I suppose the occasion where I wanted to spend 80 quid on a motor that I, you know, I haven't used before and was untested. Um, so I was really keen to test some um, and I asked them to send me these, which are the new RC in power um, GTS 2 23 or 6. And I've got these in 1800kV. Um, and if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I'm running my smooth operator on these guys which are the brother hobby 2207 um 2150 kv so i thought it'd be interesting to get some mortars in a lower kv um i'm running the brother hobbies on 5s um and i'm sort of tempted to tip my uh, toe into 6s so i asked them to send me these in 1800 kv and my idea is and um, i'll either put them on the six inch and possibly run them on 5s or possibly switch the brother hobbies over to the six inch and and run these on 6s on the five inch so what this is going to be is just a really quick overview of this motor because unlike um other channels that do motor reviews i'm really interested in how this guy flies so my review will really commence when it's on um, one of the smooth operators, the five or the six inch, and at that point I'll be able to give you, you know, more information about um, its power output, um, the way it responds, how much bottom end torque it has, all those things that you notice when you're flying, as opposed to when you're looking at bench tests. Um, if you're interested in in raw figures, I highly recommend you look at um, the channel Engineer X, and I'll try and leave a link to his channel up here somewhere if I can't and I'll put it in the description um, and Engineer X um, did a review of these motors but his were sent directly from RC in power and his were in red and in a different KV now everything that he said um, stands true for this one with one big difference when he originally reviewed this motor it came with somewhat unusually 16 gauge wire um, and some people in the comments said um, it was too heavy with the 16 gauge wire. Um, my comment on this mortar, I think, was that it's a mortar for, for real men um, because it comes with a, with a decent sized M3 um, set screw um, and it looks built to last. Um, this is the production version and the wire has been changed to 20 um, gauge which is pretty standard for a motor of this size and identical to what the brother hobby are using so the interesting thing I can't remember what his weight was but his was 35 36 grams something like that whereas this one is obviously going to be lighter and it comes with a fairly long stretch of wire so let's just see how it how much it weighs with what 15 centimeters of wire something like that so if I just wrap this up and pop it on so we're getting a weight 34.6 and if we compare that to the start of curiosity the brother hobby which has exactly the same amount of wire this is claimed to be a 29 gram mortar but they always 
give those figures without the wire. So if we actually look at it with the wire, we've got 32.8. So this is essentially two grams, 1.8 grams heavier. And I suspect that additional weight comes from the fact that I believe this is a, a steel hollow shaft as opposed to the Brother Hobby, which is a titanium shaft. And as I've said before, I'm not too worried about whether a Malta has got a titanium shaft or a steel shaft. Steel is stronger, titanium is lighter. Am I realistically, as a, as a freestyle pilot, going to notice the difference um, in weight? Probably not, is the answer. Um, what I'm more interested in is how this flies compared to this guy. You know, these are, I think, 17 quid. These are 19 quid. Um, you know, his RCN power going to be a match for good old brother hobby. The one thing I like on the RCN power is it's got really chunky single strand windings, which I really like. Because for me, they get damaged um, less easily than um, multi-strand wires. The one curious thing about it is it's a really compact mortar. If you look at it side on um, and compare it to the Brother Hobby, which of course um, has a bigger, is a 2207 versus a 2306, but you can see this is it's a, it's a really sort of compact squashed in mortar, um, which I quite like. There's less chance that you're going to get sort of branches and twigs etc um, because this will the, the base of the bell will sit closer to um, your frame so as I said it's just really a quick overview I've no idea if these are going to be any good um, they certainly feel and look really good quality um, the machining on the bell is you know as good as I've ever seen um, they do have arc magnets, um, there is a lip on the bell to hold the magnets in place so you've got all the standard things and um, they don't quote whether the magnets are N52 or they don't quote the um, the shaft material but as I said I'm guessing it's steel hence the additional weight but yeah um, the real proof in the pudding will be when I put it on the smooth operator frame and at that point um, I'll do a link from this video to that one and give you my thoughts on them. And I'm hoping that I've found another brand of mortar that I really like. Um, because RC in power have got some 15 or 6s that I've always really liked the look of as well. So if these are if these work out well, I might give those a try. So yeah, so cheers for watching. As I said, if you want a full you know um, thrust test, etc., um, head over to Engineer X and check out his um, motor reviews he's always a good guy to watch and I really like his channel um, this is for me is just a really quick look um, but I'll be able to talk more about what I think about them when I've stuck them on my quad um, and flown it cheers guys thanks bye bye